Okay, well today um, I worked on getting my uh, spindle uh, controller installed and um, <clears throat> all the connections made to the um, uh, outside world from this box. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what I did. Um, PMDX makes this board that works with the 126, which is what comes with the CNC router ports uh, control box. Um, this is the 107 and I think it costs around uh, $55 or so um, and there is a proprietary connector just underneath here um, on the PMDX 126 that this thing plugs right into and then there's a, uh, a screw, a grounding lug that gets screwed into the back of the board so you do have to take this thing off the PMDX has to be unmounted so that you can get at the back of that to put it on. Um, basically what I did, I found the easiest way to unmount this thing is to leave all of these connectors uh, on and then just take this bolt connector off and these two e-stop um, lines out and then take the four screws out on the corners and pull the thing out and you can access the back of it just fine to get what you need on um, I also took the opportunity to put these um, uh, risers um, on because these are what the um, uh, smooth stepper will attach to. Um, I will eventually get that installed in here when I convert my laser over to um, use the uh, um, one of the uh, what the, just the laser engraver controller. Uh, I think that's going to be the easiest way for me to do this. So, anyway, um, uh, let's see here. A little bit of notes about setup. Um, you want to make sure that you s switch this off so that it's in normal mode with charge pump. Um, that's uh, config one. And then I turned config seven. It actually doesn't matter. It only deals with whether or not you're using this relay or the K1 relay which is this guy here um, uh, for now I've just disconnected the um, relay signals so that these relays are dead because um, I don't have any use for them right now and I'd rather not uh, accidentally send a signal somewhere that I don't need it right now um, the uh, spindle controller uh, does have relays on it that um, will switch these two lines on the end where I have my yellow and green um, and it will connect it to a common which then gets sent out to your spindle so right now I have it set to a run and a direction you can also set it to be a forward and reverse um, signal um, so if neither of them are on then the spindle is off okay and then these are either a 0 to 5 or a 0 to 10 volt uh, signal one thing that I found that was interesting is that um, in the current setup, uh, 10 volts means that the sig that the spindle is off, basically zero, um, and zero volts means that the spindle is full on. So that's kind of interesting. I didn't wasn't expecting that. Um, <coughs> And I, I tested it, and it does give me proportional control. You know, um, I set it up in mock to go from 0 to 25,000 RPMs, and if I go in 2,500 step increments, it goes one, uh, well, from 0, it's 10 volts, 9 volts, 8 volts, 7, 6, 5, all the way down. Um, and uh, you can adjust that with, um, there's a potentiometer here. Um, that is supposed to set that voltage signal. Um, this line coming in here is if you wanted to provide uh, a signal reference from the VFD, you can set it up to use that, but in my case I think I'm just going to uh, set it up to run 0 to 10 from here. Um, so what I did then is pulled these wires out and ran them down to this new trick uh, connector and what this is is a um, a five pin XLR connector and I got a mating 
um, connector to go on the outside to carry the signal to the uh, VFD. Uh, so that's all ready to go. I just need to I need to get the the cable connected in the end here and solder to the cups in this thing, and um, that should be ready to go. Um, I've decided also, you still see that I have a uh, parallel port coming in here. Um, it's going to be a little bit of time before I uh, uh, get that uh, engraver controller. Um, I'm kind of waiting for an open source option to maybe develop. Um, there, there's a good one online going right now, um, but I have no idea how fast it'll be. Uh, otherwise, I was just going to get the... Uh, um, the Chinese laser controller that a lot of other people have on the site. So, um, I think that's about it for right now. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.